Well, you paid for them pricey palm trees that line miles and miles of Florida's interstates and highways as part of an FDOT landscaping program called a bold new vision. But as I-Team investigator Adam Walser uncovered, many of the trees are now dead and state officials don't have a handle on how much it's going to cost to fix the problem. Th those are really nice palms, but they're dead. <laughs> Arborist Buck Rawlings doesn't like what he's seeing along local interstates and highways. These right here, I mean, they're definitely dead. If you saw that in somebody's yard, would you yank it up? <laughs> definitely. As more and more pricey palm trees you paid for are dying. They're gone. There's nothing you can do for those trees. And it's thousands of dollars. Yes, more than likely. A few thousand here and there and there, and soon you're talking about a lot of money. The Florida Department of Transportation kicked off a palm planting project called A Bold New Vision during Governor Rick Scott's first term. There was a push several years ago for more palm trees around the state of Florida, especially in our gateway areas. Records show some Bay Area intersections have more than a thousand palm trees and cost more than a million dollars. The landscaping is funded with gas tax money you pay at the pump. The intention was to impress tourists and attract new businesses and residents to Florida by replacing shrubs and hardwoods with groves of tropical palms. But in half of Florida's counties, palms are now dying from a disease called Texas Phoenix Palm Decline. This is a new disease. There's a lot of questions, still a lot of unknowns. When they get this disease, it kills them pretty quickly. Yes, it does. If it gets Texas Phoenix Palm Decline, you're talking about very quickly, within a few weeks. ABC Action News first reported that the disease was killing palm trees in Tampa in 2013. They're not cheap. Right? Five to eight thousand dollars each. Records show Manuel Diaz Farms of Homestead landed 17 million dollars in FDOT Bold New Vision contracts in 2014. That same year, donors associated with the nursery gave fifty thousand dollars to the Florida Republican Party a week before the gubernatorial election. And in recent years, as more palm trees showed signs of decline statewide, FDOT was still planting new palms. In 2016, FDOT spent nearly $350,000 on 267 palm trees here on the Courtney Campbell Causeway. Luckily, these are still under warranty, so they'll be replaced, but that's not the case with all the trees in the program. Palms planted more than two years ago are now the responsibility of the state. How many trees are affected by this disease? It's, we don't have numbers on this, unfortunately. There's not a database. We're not tracking the disease. When they put up those trees, was it beautiful? They look beautiful, yeah. I like it. Tampa resident Sandra Moreno says pretty palms planted near her home along the Selman Expressway have long been dead. You pay for that. You pay for everything in here. FDOT District spokesperson Chris Carson says that the state recently came up with a plan. We want to make sure that these are replaced or removed. And again, we even have to sanitize the equipment to make sure we're not spreading it if it is the disease. The best thing to do is if you can identify that it is Texas Phoenix Palm Decline, is to get that tree out of there as quickly as possible. But some of FDOT's dead palms we first spotted in early May still haven't been removed. It just looks horrible. Nobody wants to drive pass and see dead trees all the time, you know what I mean? Our crews probably already know about it. They're probably already watching them or monitoring them and probably already have a plan to remove them. In the meantime, the DOT says Florida's bold new vision plan no longer includes new palm trees. and Nobody knows how much replacing the dead ones will end up costing taxpayers. I'm my team investigator Adam Walser taking action for you.